Welcome to Lewis Ginter Botanical Garden Virtual Storytime. I'm Tarnicia, a program developer here in the garden. Today I'm going to read a story called Sky Color. Sky Color by Peter H. Reynolds. Before I read the story, I want to ask you a question. What color is the sky right now? I want you to go ahead run to your window and if you're outside look up and come back and tell us what color is the sky right now hmm I can see the sky and ready you guys come back yet okay so I'm looking at the sky and right now it's kind of white Claudine what color is the sky to you Mmm, Claudine, my friend Claudine says gray. I agree with her. It's kind of gray, kind of white. What do you guys think? Why do you think the sky looks like it looks right now? Hmm. Is it rainy and it's cloudy? Yep, it's a rainy day. And what a better day to read Sky Color by Peter H. Reynolds. Are you ready? I'm ready. We're going to find out what happens to this girl named Marisol, who's going to paint the sky. What? What do you think she does when she finds out there's no blue paint to paint the sky? Hmm. We're gonna find out. Sky Color, Peter H. Reynolds. Do you think the sky can be pink? Do you think the sky can be purple or orange? Well, we're gonna read the story and find out. Marisol was an artist. She loved to draw and paint. And she even had her very own art gallery. Take a look at the fridge. She had her art gallery right there in the refrigerator. Do you guys have an art gallery on your refrigerator? I do. It's full of pictures that family and friends and kids I know painted for me or drew. Not all her art hung in a gallery. Much of it she shared with the world. She painted posters to share ideas she believed in. Here's a poster she's painted. It says, save the ocean. I love the beach. I probably would have painted something like that myself. At school, Marisol was famous for her creative clothes, her box of art supplies, and her belief that everybody was an artist. Do you believe that? I truly believe that. Yes, Marisol was an artist through and through. So when her teacher told the class they were going to paint a mural for the library, Marisol couldn't wait to begin. Look at her, she's right there. She's raising her hand. She's Hey, I got ideas. She's excited. And do you guys know what a mural is? Hmm. A mural is a big piece of artwork that's most likely painted on a wall or a building, sometimes even the ground. And we have some really cool murals that's here in our garden. The classroom buzzed with the sound of brainstorming. The students talked and sketched. Together, they made a great big drawing. Do you guys know what brainstorming is? Well, brainstorming is when you use your brain to think of ideas that you want to do, things and ideas that you want to do. So that's what her and her friends are doing right now. They are thinking and coming up with ideas about what they want to do for the mural. Then they march to the library. I'll paint a fish. I'll pick one too. I'll paint the ocean. Marisol shouted, 
I'll paint the sky. Marisol rummaged through the box of paint but could not find any blue. How am I going to paint the sky without blue paint? I don't know. Let's find out what she does. The bell rang. It was time to put their brushes down for the day as she climbed aboard the bus. Marisol kept wondering. Hmm. All the way home, she stared out the window. Perhaps she is brainstorming about what she's going to do. What do you think she's looking at? Huh. Think she's looking at the sky? The sun lowered to the horizon. Let's take a look at the sky color right now on our book. Do you see blue? Mm. No. But do you see yellow? Mm, I do. Do you see orange? Yeah, I see orange, I see yellow. I even see some red, right? Later at home, Marisol watched day turn into night. What happens to the sky when it turns day into night? What happens? What color is the sky? Let's take a look. There's a yellow. Then you see a hint of pink and some purple. There's Marisol. Do you think she's brainstorming again? I bet she is. That night, Marisol settled into a deep dream. What can you see in the sky at nighttime? Did you guys say stars, moon? Yep. She drifted through a sky swirling with colors. The colors mixed, making too many to count. She's even brainstorming in her dreams, guys. Check her out. In the morning, Marisol stood waiting for the bus in the rain. The sky was not blue. She smiled. She smiled. Why do you think she smiled? Maybe she likes rainy days. Or she could be brainstorming again. Is it a rainy day today? Yes. And we already decided what a rainy or cloudy sky looks like. At school, Marisol raced to the library. She grabbed a dish and began adding colors. This one, that one. She swirled the brush to make it all together new color look at her friends they're looking at her like what are you doing marisol marisol then began painting on the wall remember i told you guys that a mural is a big piece of artwork on a wall a boy asks what color is that that marisol said that is sky color. Would you guys like to see their mural? So beautiful. Ta-da! There you go. Check out Marisol's sky color. I see all the colors that she dreamt about. I see the orange and yellow when the sun was setting. I see those gray, cloudy cl sky color that she saw on the rainy day. There's that purple at night. And look, she even drew stars. 
this is the last page of the book. But before I close the book, I want to ask you a question. What did we discover in this book? Did we discover that the sky can be many colors? The sky can be pink and it can be orange, it can be purple. Stay tuned for an activity that's going to go along with our book, Sky Color. So welcome back to the activity portion of story time. So I'm going to show you guys some pictures, some real photos of some of my favorite images of Sky Color. And before I show you them, I'm going to show, actually show you where I got them from. For those of you who, especially adults who are watching, if you've been watching story time with me for a long time, you know that I am a fan of concrete materials, like real photos, actual images, um, and all the photos that I'm about to use for this activity came from an old calendar called Scenic Landscapes. So save those old calendars. Don't throw them away. They come in handy. Are you ready? So the first picture I'm going to show you is I'll do this one. Take a look at the sky. I know, it's so pretty, so much to look at, right? So much to look at in this picture, right? So we're gonna try to focus on the sky. What do you see? You see any clouds? No. We don't see clouds right now because it's a cloudy, it's a cloudy rainy day. And what color is the sky? Is it blue? Yes, let me see some blue. Something else I like about this picture is because there's water in it. And you can see the sky is a reflection. You can see the reflection of the sky right here in the water. I think that's so cool and so pretty. One of my favorite artists, Claude Monet, does this on a lot of his paintings. You ready for the next picture? time of the day do you think this is? Nighttime, right? This kind of reminds me of Merso, the the image in the book of Merso. See? Like the sun setting, right? See a little pink. And you see the stars. Do you see any blue? No, it's not really blue. Well, maybe. I don't know. You tell me what you think. it be dark blue. Ready for the next one? This picture did not come from the calendar. It came from a magazine. But check a look at this storm cloud. Look at this. this. What do you see? Gray clouds. Doesn't look like this right now. It's a good thing, right? And There's that reflection again. The water is showing the reflection of the sky and all the mountains. I got two more to show you. Take a look at this one. Do you see any blue? I do. I see some light blue. I see a little indigo as well. Some pink, some white. And one of my favorite pictures of sky color came from another magazine. And take a look at this one. I love this one. What colors do you see? Orange. See lots of orange, right? You see the sunset? Now this one inspired me so much that I wanted to paint my own sky color picture. Can I show you? This is Miss Tarnishia's masterpiece. And I called this Sunset Over Crashing Waves. 
and I did crashing waves because I love the beach. So what I used in my picture, guys, I used some watercolor paints for the water and for my sky. And in the middle, I used color pencils and I used crayons. And guess what? I signed my artwork. Always sign your artwork. And guess what else I did? I framed it because it's special to me. It's my special artwork. So when you make art, sign it and frame it. I hope you enjoyed all those pretty sky pictures. Those are some of my favorite pictures. Now we're going to talk about doing art outside. Now I think everyone should take a minute to spend some time outside in nature. A simple walk just to smell the air, feel the breeze, look at the birds, listen to the birds, and do art outside. I love doing art outside. Well. I'm going to show you guys how you can set up an art studio outside of your backyard or at a nearby park or just anywhere that you play and you hang out outside. We have a spot called Bow Garden Art Studio and it's right under our tree house here in the children's garden. So I'll walk you through the space. This setup is Inspired by Peter H. Reynolds, the author of our story, Sky Color. And as you can see, there's some more of his work out here. I have different size paper. You know, have some different size paper ready and available for you to use. We have some art materials. We have some crayons. We have some paints. And we have some different type of brushes. And I'm pretty sure my friend, Kelsey, her check-in this week, she taught you guys how to make nature paint brushes, so check her out. We have some recycled materials that you can use for paint cups, a metal pan where you can use to dump all your paints in or you can paint in. There's also a tarp laid down in the ground, just in case you want to sit, if you don't want to sit directly on the ground. And that tarp would be cool for a rainy day like today. There's even a cleanup station. I know all the adults that's watching, you're gonna love this part. I used a recycled soap pump. I just put a little bit of dishwashing liquid in there, just a little bit, and some water and some paper towels, and I even used a coffee container. Your children can put their paper towels once they clean their hands, and they can clean up outside before they come in. So if you have a place in your backyard where your child can set up and be creative like Marisol, that would be great. So I hope you get some good ideas on how to set up an art studio outside. That's it for today, guys. I'm going to end story time today with a quote from one of my favorite artists. I named one of them already. I have lots. So this is another one. His name is Pablo Picasso. He once said, every child is an artist. The problem is how to remain an artist once he grows up. I think Marisol will grow up to be a very creative artist. What do you think? Tell us about some of the creative ways that you like to do art. Is it painting? Is it drawing? Is it dancing or singing? We want to hear about it. Be sure to let us know. See you next week.